Samsung Galaxy Note 7 rumors don't paint a pretty picture for Android N. Moto Z teasers begin to show us a lot of colors for the trim, and believe it or not, somebody figured out how to run Android on an iPhone. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, this is the way I remember the Ninja Turtles, not the fat blobs you currently see on TV. But uh, given the fact that these are green, they'll probably look either blue or yellow on the video. <laughs> this is Pocket Now Daily. We always try to begin our official news with deals, and uh, this time it's up to the Google Nexus 5X. Uh, probably one of our favorite smartphones of last year, mainly because it's stock Android on a budget. And if you're still on a budget, right now it's currently at $275 over on eBay. Links and information in the description. And speaking of deals, one deal that went all right and then all wrong was definitely T-Mobile Tuesdays. It is no BS. Our own Adam Lane actually went to claim his pizza, but uh, the biggest problem was that there was so much demand for the app that it ended up crashing a few times. It is now working, and apparently you can still order pizza tomorrow given this whole debacle that just happened. It's great to see that T-Mobile is actually delivering, and it's also great to see that there is this much demand because in the end, it does mean that people actually like the idea. I hope I don't forget this name, Tendigi, I think I got that right, is uh, making headlines today mainly because they've figured out a way to run Android on an iPhone. And uh, this is interesting. So it's a case that case has a lot of computing under it. It's got a ton of ports and then you connect it to the iPhone through the lightning connector and it displays Android 4 point something. It's an archaic version of Android that's made for the tablet version. But bear in mind, this kind of reminds us of the app Duet where you can connect an iPad to a Mac and simply mirror your display. It's like if this, gadget, this case is simply using the iPhone as a display, which again, we've seen with other services. So this might not be all innovation here, but it might just be, stay tuned. That's the first time we see Android running on any iOS device. And moving the spotlight over to teasers, we are expecting the next generation Moto Z or Moto X at Lenovo World that's happening Thursday. And uh, well, we finally get some teasers. The teasers are of a very slim profile in different colors. Rose gold, gold, silver, meaning those are the trim colors that Motorola is teasing for their next Moto flagship. Obviously, we are also expecting some Moto maker treatment as we've seen in other leaks. So yeah, it does seem that thin, different colored trims, including rose gold, are in the package. Uh, let's just hope it delivers. And finally, some very interesting news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. We've been covering leaks all over. This time, it's mainly about software, as uh, some trusted sources apparently claim that Android N is not making the cut, that all the official documentation that they're getting for the phone hints to Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, uh, which is uh, extremely weird. This would be the first time that a Samsung Galaxy Note smart phone doesn't launch with the latest version of Android. Usually this is the phone that brings that version through Samsung's, you know, whole TouchWiz user interface. It could mean that Android N will not be ready by then. It's a probability. It could also be that we're getting the Galaxy Note earlier as previous rumors claimed. Whatever the case may be, it leads me to the question of the day. Would the lack of Android N be a deterrent for you to buy the Galaxy Note 7 or not? In my case, no, not really. But uh, for me, it, the only deterrence will be what innovation are we getting with the Galaxy Note 7 and hopefully not just have it be a larger copy of the Galaxy S7. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get these news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. In addition, you can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocketnow. And follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.